couldn't hit a cow's arse with a bad goal. I call this a special operation.
Give it a whack! Transaction opportunity! Find the last portal hotspot!
destroyed, and we've got a few more microtransaction bucks in our pocket. Now, please speak to me to receive your game tester stipend. Thank you for playing. Destroyer of Worlds will be available for public early access any day now. And with all the money we've made from these super convenient microtransactions, we will definitely finish the game. Promise! Primary steward to Typhon de Leon. Because my counterpart is inferior in every way, de Leon has charged me with greeting you. So, greetings. I tell you to cheer up, but honestly, it seems like this might be the most cheerful you get. I'm Sparrow. Typhon asked me to show you around. Sparrow, what the hell? Typhon says the universe is in danger. We don't have time for a tour. Go to hell, Grouse. Tour time! FYI, I did all the interior decorating. Nice, right? Just because you're marooned on a deadly planet doesn't mean you can't make it feel like home. Sparrow, a 
open your eyes. The Vault Hunter doesn't like you, and you're irrelevant to their mission. Whatever. You're irrelevant to... my ass. Master hates you, Sparrow. He'd scrap you in a heartbeat. Next time his toilet breaks, you're a goner. Toilets perform a vital function. I'd be honored. Some of my ancestors were explorers. So long, Vault Hunter! We got a universe to save! Wah! You were expecting someone less handsome? Glad you made it! Bet it was a schlep! Here's a little something for making the trip. So if you got some, I'm always happy to make you a gun or two. But right now, I gotta show you something. This way. Hey, bots. I'm taking the Vault Hunter to the machine. Don't let anyone inside, Malawan or otherwise. Now's our chance to prove our worth. Won't matter. It's the end of the universe. This laser whip's been handy. Helps me keep up in my sundown years. Plus, whips are great. Lasers, too. By now you figured out Pandora's a planet-sized vault. Meridians called it the Great Vault or something. A long time ago, they crammed an interdimensional monstrosity in there called the Destroyer. Wasn't easy, but they did it. The Iridians sacrificed their whole civilization to lock that thing away. But they were smart, those aliens. The Iridians had a backup plan, just in case someone was Meshuggah enough to release the Destroyer. If that happens, well, they named it the Destroyer for a reason. Behind this door is an ancient Iridian astrokinetic vault-powered phase engine something or other. I just call it the machine. Pretty nifty. And the colors! Those Iridians know how to make an entrance, right? This was the machine that locked away the Destroyer the first time. And it could do it again, too. But we need four vault keys to get in. You already got three of them, right? You called it, boyo. Promethea! I found the first vault there, you know. Eden 6. It ain't no paradise. Pandora! My home! There's one last key, and I know where it is. Heads up, though. It's kind of a schlep. And it won't be easy. Yeah, but I'm sure you're up for it. You're a Vault Hunter, like me. I'm the house, Vault Hunter. You're gonna need it. Malawan set up a buttload of bases between us and the Vault. This is exactly why I tried to keep Negra the Fail secret in the first place. But I guess that bird's out of its cage. You gotta get the last key. I hid it near the Vault. There's a bridge that leads to the Vault side. Head there, and good luck with Malawan.
Time will give your life purpose. Typhon began work on a prototype defensive cannon. We're going to finish it so you can put the hurt on those Malawan putzes. To get it firing, we're going to need some captive guardian energy. First, take this energy trap. We're gonna use guardian energy to power the cannon. It's gonna look so cool. We'll just shoot it into the sky and not hurt anyone. I will shoot my new weapon where I please. Vault Hunter, you'll use the energy trap to capture the guardian energy. Now head to the temple. I can't wait for this. So we gave all of Typhon's research data to this healer bot named Turn. But now he's gone off and started his own practice. If Malawan gets him, they'll find all that data and come kill us. You gotta go to his office and get it back. Turn is a threat to our very survival. If Malawan gets a hold of that data, they will find us. You need to kill that idiot and scavenge his memory core. What? Don't kill him! He's a super nice guy and a great listener. He's even helping me deal with this absolute dickbag who's always creating a hostile work environment. Well, would you rather be happy or alive? What a weird question. So far, I've always been both. came from. I sense why Sparrow and Grouse sent you, and I can help. But first, are you in a consciousness-centered place and prepared for growth? I've got a load of issues and whatnot. Ah, but is your energy properly aligned? Let me observe your energy flow for a moment. Alrighty. 
I'm sensing that you have a very stressful work environment, and that you feel the fate of the universe rests on your shoulders. Interesting. Now I see your energy is flowing. Keep aligning. I'm trying, dammit! Slightly more to the left. Just let me in, would ya? There we are. You are now properly aligned and prepared for healing. Please, enter my sanctum. Remember, this is a sanctified space where all life forms can coexist harmoniously. Oh, the world will kick you in the pants for thinking a thing like that. Your first diagnostic session is free. After that, I charge a nominal fee of $1,000 per cosmic realignment. Now, to begin, please lie on the couch. <laughs> ah, yeah, can't do that. As you wish, your path will take you where it must. Anyway, we'll move on. Now I'd like you to express yourself creatively. It exfoliates the soul. Use that paint there and just go nuts on the canvas. Yes, excellent. Now paint whatever is in your heart, your soul's heart. From your artwork, I sense you feel stuck in an endless loop of violence and material acquisition. Interesting. I know just the thing to break your cycle. A magnificent gift, just for you. Please, open the Box of Tranquility for a glorious reward in recognition of all your hard work today. How unfortunate. Not what you were expecting? And how did that make you feel? How did that make me feel, he says? Well, that you're a right asshole is how. Yes, yes! You're expressing yourself. It's time to start your treatment. Listen carefully. You must trust me completely for the treatment to work. Under no circumstances should you resort to violence. No promises. I want to be crystal clear. We cannot walk the path to healing hand in hand with barriers between us. I will let down my guard, and so must you. Do not shoot me. I cannot stress that enough. Please do not resort to violence. This is for your own good. You'll never achieve harmony acting like that. You're a terrible patient. My senses indicate you got the memory core. Good work. Come on back. How'd it go, buddy? Didn't you feel the signal burst? They killed Turn is how it went. Why would they do that? Because he's quite annoying. Or was. <laughs> Ship went blammo. We got guns and gear and back hams to last us a few months, so we should be all right. Stored a few of these historical markers on the ship, but that's a good thing, too. It's easy to get lost on this planet. Necro DeFeo. That name, it don't make no sense. I mean, what the hell is a Feo? he got killed, but at least the data is safe. Good riddance. The only thing crystals are good for is high-precision internal timekeeping. 
And some are quite... gritty. Why are you so mean, Grouse? This was a matter of survival, Sparrow. When are you going to start taking things seriously? Never. What's the point of life if you have to take everything seriously all the time? You're hopeless. Ah, Zen! Like a fine wine you are. nearby. Place that trap, then lock and load. They come. Be careful. They don't need to be careful. They need to be badass. They can be both. Careful was my old little man. Then he got killed. Good riddance! Bloody eyes!
everyone's like you. More like craving some tasty marshmallows. you gathered and set up the energy trap near the prototype. Somehow we survived the bright light. Here you go, Vault Hunter. Our dark cannon beckons. It is beautiful. So dark. And so... cannon. Your payment, Vault Hunter. Well, what are you waiting for? You've got a fancy new dark cannon, don't you? Get out there and kill some Malawan, you force of nature. You freaking king of the jungle. You beautiful monster. Boom, boom, baby. work for me. Surely you felt the Necroquakes, Vault Hunter. It must be Malawan's doing. Right. Quake time, fast time! As you can see, Sparrow finds the Necroquakes fun and cool. But if they continue, this planet will be torn apart and everything will perish. Which is objectively not cool. You must use those beacons to discover the source of the quakes. Take some explosives as well, just in case. And to start, place the first beacon. Now just two more. We must triangulate the beacons to determine the Necroquake source.
grinder. Instead of being torn asunder by voracious animals, you have placed the other beacon. Good. Now I will triangulate. One moment. Grouse, you're on fire! Look! Grouse! Hey! Please, Sparrow, I'm trying to concentrate. Okay, sending you coordinates, Salt Hunter. Interesting. The Necroquakes are coming from a subterranean abscess or cave in common parlance. We will create an opening with the explosives. Hold it. jobs off the airwaves. <clears throat> Score one for the Raiders. All them sound cheap and traditional, but you're not. They say they're revolutionary.
Proceed underground and find the source of those quakes. <laughs> Surely the next <gasps> quakes are Mallow ones doing. But their time will come. Then we will exterminate this planet's fauna one by one, and finally all will be quiet. That sort of sounded like you want to kill every living thing on the planet but us. Yes, it did sound like that, Sparrow. It did sound like that. Your parents shall be ashamed here. Side by side with the Iridians, though already the forgetting has begun. There was no fear of one another, only awe on one side, and a kind of sadness on the other. They never said if they knew their fate before it fell, but they also never said any of us had a choice. Going down! Ugh. 
the necroquakes have stopped. Thank you, Vault Hunter. Our survival is assured. For now. <laughs>